Danny Flexen for seconds out here with English flyweight champion Carl Youssef at the Steel City Gym in Sheffield. Carl, first of all, just tell us how you came to get into boxing originally and, and also how you came to this particular gym. Well, uh, I've always been a hyper kid in school, as in sport-wise, you know, with football and many other sports. And I've al I'm always the type of person, like my dad's always been into boxing and we'd always watch the big f Saturday night fights. And um, I, to, be, to be fair, I was never a bully or anything, but I could always handle myself in, in, in school or whatever. But um, yeah, my dad said, do you want to give it a go? And so I decided to go to a gym called Brendan Ingalls, which I was originally from. Um, don't get me wrong, the first day was very hard. I got put into sparring straight away, got winded. Had to think twice about it, whether I should actually take, take the sport on or not. But within the weeks, the, f the, the coming weeks uh, ahead, um, I gradually just started picking it up. And uh, the, the trainer then, Dominic, he's gone to me, or within five, six m months into it, he's gone, get your amateur card. And uh, I think we, we, you're ready basically for the amateurs. And um, I had 19 fights on amateur, I had four losses. I did quite well, did quite well. Uh, box at the age from 17, learned it very quick, very quick. And uh, now I'm here. When did you move to this gym? Uh, it was just over a year ago. Um, don't get me wrong, the training was brilliant down at the Ingle gym. Um, Dominic is a very good trainer. Um, I can never say nothing bad about him. We left on good terms, but I've always seen Grant, my little brother, my younger brother, he, he used to train at this gym as an amateur. And any time I'd go to an amateur show, there'd always be a standout a boxer, like a couple. And I always used to think, I wonder what gym that is. Eventually, my brother turned over. I love the work Grant actually did as, as a fighter, and uh, not as a fighter, as a trainer. And uh, for me, I think moving to Grant is the, w is the best possible move. And uh, on top of that, I think he can, he, he, can be, he can bring the best out of me. With being quite a late starter at 17, why do you have so few amateur fights? Did you not feel, think about staying amateur for a bit longer and getting a bit more experience before turning over? Uh, to be fair, that's a, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I, only had, I didn't have many amateur fights, but I used to get regular sparring with top pros. And uh, I used to hold my own, to be fair with you. Like, never, never did they really get the better of me. Give us some names, come on. Uh, well, one of the main names is Kid Galahad. Uh, another very good fighter is Jordan Gill. I was holding my own. If so, somebody was to come into the gym, they wouldn't know, and they didn't really know about boxing. They wouldn't know who's the champion and who's the contender, do you know what I mean? And that's how our sparring was going. And what made me more confident was the weight I was actually at as an amateur. I was at flyweight. They were bigger lads. So for me to hold my own with bigger people, it just gave me that more confidence. Thinking, if I go into the professional game, I'm sparring with better people than uh, the opposition that's going to come against me. So um, I think it was the right move for me at that time. I was just turning 22. And you've been able to move quite quickly, partly because of your talent and also the fact that flyweight, we don't have lots and lots of flyweights in the UK. So you're already English champion. 2019's just started. What's the next steps for you? Where do you see yourself going from here? The next step is to become a better fighter first. Um, I'm back out March 30th and we don't know what's going on at the moment, whether I'm going to defend my English title or whether it's going to be an eight rounder. We're, we're in... We're in a 50-50 there, but um, the main thing is to gradually get better under Grant Smith and maybe the maybe towards summertime, look for that British title. Um, don't get me wrong, it's hard for us. When we start off on small hall shows, we need like a little major title for promoters to see us, see the skills that we've got. So eventually when I've got the British title, it'll open more doors for me. And Charlie Edwards and Sonny Edwards are obviously both at this gym. Charlie specifically is someone who's come from another gym, done really well, won the WBC title in December after losing a previous world title shot when he was at a different camp. How much of an inspiration is that for you, A, training with him on a regular basis, but also the fact that he's come from somewhere else and achieved great success here at Steel City? Is that, that is what, what Charlie's achieved. Don't get me wrong, I've, I've uh, trained alongside world champions before, but... For, the, for, for Charlie to be in the same weight division as me, under the same trainer, do you know what I mean? It gives me that more, I can see the light, do you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, it's a long road towards the world title, but if a guy's done it, who trains bang on 
alongside me. We do the same training. Everything's the same. It just gives me that more motivation, more, more of a belief that I'm going to become world champion or I could get to high level. So what Charlie's achieved, it's out of this world. You know, it's still a shock to me. Not that he's won. It's just that, the fact that he's world champion and I'm training alongside him. Apart from Charlie, who you're obviously never going to fight as long as you both stay members of this gym, who are the kind of big names at your weight that you could see yourself having those kind of marquee fights with in the future? Well, in the future, there's no rush for me at the moment. I'm 25 years old, but really I'm a baby in the game. Just started boxing at 17, but there's many good fighters. There's Selva, there's Paddy Barnes. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to fight them anytime soon, but I will get to them. Matter of time, under the guidance of Grant Smith, he's got that magic wand, and when he waves that over me, it's gonna. A matter of time, I'm gonna get to them. Um, but right now, to be fair, I'm not really looking at. I'm just looking at the British title. No matter who it is, that British title is gonna be mine this year. And just before we let you go, what's the secret to the success of this gym? What What have you found since you've been here that's been the best things about it? Well, first of all, everyone gets along. You're going to hear that from every uh, fighter from the gym. But the main thing is, me personally, I think it's Grant Smith. Um, he's my trainer, but at the same time, I don't see him just as a trainer. I see him more than that. I can come into the gym and talk to Grant about anything, and I feel comfortable. So maybe, maybe it's Grant Smith. He can just tr attract that positivity coming through, and we're all buzzing off it. We're all bouncing off each other. And the main thing is, Every fighter in this gym is a happy fighter. Just to clarify, this is the same Grant Smith who said if you said anything negative about him, he'd um, up your subs a little bit. No, that's, that, that's, <laughs> the, that, that's the banter we get in this gym. But um, like Your I, subs have just gone right yeah, down now. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe I can come here for free now. <laughs> you never know. For people out there who haven't been aware of you before but would now like to follow your journey, hopefully towards that British title, as you've said, what are your main social media handles? How can they keep up with you? Social media is uh, KY Golden Kid, uh, Golden Kid on Twitter. On Instagram, it's Kyle.Yulsaf. And on Snapchat, it's Kyle Yulsaf. So everyone get following this journey because it's going to be a very long journey and we're going all the way. Brilliant. Cheers, Cheers Kyle. Appreciate it. Thank you.